This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this logo design using Inkscape. So let me go ahead and open up Inkscape over here. Uh, just so you know before we get started, the font I'll be using in this tutorial is uh, a font you'll have to download and install before you open up Inkscape. It's uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's called Kirsty. It's a free font to download. So go ahead and download that. Open up the font file and just click the button that says install and you'll be good to get started. Otherwise you could use whatever font you'd like. So we'll go ahead and get started here. I just want to set up our documents so that we're all working with a similar view. I'm going to go to File, Document Properties, and I want to set the display units to pixels. And I want to turn off the visibility of the page border over here. And then we can close out of that. And then I want to go to View. Make sure you have Custom selected. We'll go to Zoom, View, Zoom, Zoom in at uh, 1 to 1. And then we'll open up the Align and Distribute uh, menu with this button up here. We're going to want Last Selected chosen from this drop down. And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button there. And now what we want to do is come up here to the Snapping menu. We want to make sure we have this icon enabled right here where it says enable snapping. We want that turned on. And then we also want this one turned on over here which says snap nodes, paths, and handles. And then we want this one right here that says snap cusp nodes. And then the one right next to it as well. Uh, snap smooth nodes. Turn that on as well. And once we've done that, we're good to get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a perfectly round circle like that. And what I want to do is I want to take the opacity of that and bring that down roughly in half like that. It doesn't have to be exactly in half, just somewhere thereabouts is good enough. And then I'll go to the Select tool. I'm going to right click this circle and go to Duplicate. And then hold Control on the keyboard and click and drag this circle over to the right like that. Now what we're paying attention to here is the overlapping area between these two circles because we're going to create a shape out of these overlapping areas and use that as the as the uh, the shield sort of design for the logo. So to do that I'm going to have to create one more copy of this circle. So I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate and I'll take this one and bring this down here like that. Now if you notice where these three in circles intersect that's what you should be paying attention to because that's where our shape is going to be created. So. I'm going to move that down to about there. I think that looks pretty good. And what I want to do now is I just want to make sure that they're all evenly spaced out. Because if not, you're going to get this lopsided uh, sort of uh, shape that's not symmetrical. So I'm going to click and drag over all three of these circles. And I'm going to come over here to the Align and Distribute menu. And over here where it says Distribute, there should be this button that says Make Horizontal Gaps Between Objects Equal. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to make sure that everything is uh, spaced out evenly. And now, with all of those selected, we can go to Path, Intersection. And there's our shape right there. So let me hold Control and Shift and grab one of these arrows right here and just scale this up like that. What I want to do now is give this a red outline. So I'm going to hold Shift and I'm going to click on the color red up here to give that an outline. And your outline may vary in size, but we're going to fix that by coming over here to the Stroke Style panel. And let me just set that to Pixels. And for the width, I'm going to change this to, I'd say, 25. Uh, depending on what screen resolution you're using, you may want to use a different size. I would just I would just suggest eyeballing it. You want it to be roughly this thick. It doesn't matter if it's a little thinner or a little thicker. It doesn't, doesn't really matter at all. So something like that's pretty good. I'm using a 1080p screen right here. And uh, a 25 thickness looks pretty good. Once we've done that, I'll go to Path, Stroke to Path, and then Path break apart. And it's going to break that up into two different shapes. Now we can click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to take this shape right here in the middle and I'm going to make that black. And then I'm going to take the red shape out here, the larger one, and I'm going to give that a black outline by holding shift and clicking on the color black over here. And now I want to get rid of the fill color, get rid of that red in there. So I'm going to just click this X right here to get rid of that fill. And I'm going to take this stroke and I'm going to bring the size of that down a little bit. I'm going to say maybe 20. That right there is what we're looking for. That's pretty good. Um, I'll go to Path, Stroke to Path to finalize that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take some text and add it over this. So let me click off of that. I'm going to grab the text tool over here. And let me come over here and move this over. To move the page around, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. I'm going to click on the canvas to get the cursor blinking. And I'm just going to write in all caps, Logo Design. You could write whatever you'd like, obviously. 
Uh, for the font, I'm going to click this letter T up here, this icon, grab the text editor and look for the font that I'm going to be using called Kirsty. I'm just going to start typing it in. There it is. Click apply. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can use whichever font you'd like. It doesn't really matter. I just think this, the style of this font matches the style of this design pretty well. Now we can close out of that. Let me grab the select tool. Uh, I'm going to hold control and shift and scale that up and place this over the design right here. I'm going to put position it just a little bit below the halfway point, maybe like that. And then I'm going to hold shift and click on the shield. And I just want to click on this button right here that says center on vertical axis. And that's going to make sure that the text is centered up perfectly with the design right there. So let me click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to grab the squares and rectangles tool. I'm going to click and drag to create a square or a rectangle rather going over this text right here. Now what I want to do is I want to make that red and then I want to get rid of that outline by holding shift and clicking on this little red X down here in the lower left hand corner. Then I'll go to the select tool and I'm going to click this button over here that says lower selection one step. Go ahead and click that and it's going to place it beneath the text and then I'll hold shift click on the text and with both of those objects selected I'll center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And then we can click off of it to deselect everything. So what I want to do now is click on the red rectangle right there and I want to right click that and go to duplicate and then hold shift and click on this black shape here in the center and go to path difference. And then I'll take the other red shape click on that hold shift click on the border path the difference and there we have a hole punched out of that shape to make room for the text so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of a uh, an accent here to make it look like the text belongs in there so to do that let me grab the squares and rectangles tool I'm gonna hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that just be careful when you're creating it you don't end up with a rectangle or a, uh, a, ver a vertical or horizontal rectangle you want a perfectly symmetrical square and come up here to where this button is right here. Make corner sharp. Make sure you can click that. Make sure it's grayed out. If it's not grayed out, go ahead and click that. We don't want rounded corners on this design. And then I'll go to path, object to path. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the select tool. I'm going to click on this square again so we get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold control. I'm going to take this top right corner. I'm going to take this handle while holding control. I'm going to click and drag this clockwise one, two, three, three steps clockwise like that so that the corners are going perfectly horizontal and vertical. And what I'll do is I'll grab the uh, edit pads by nodes tool, click and drag over this node down here, and then just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And what I'll do now is I'll take this handle and snap that to that node, and I'll take this handle and snap that to that node. And I'll go back to the select tool, and I'm just going to take this top arrow and just click and drag this down like that. And I'm going to take this shape right here, and I'm just going to click and drag to snap it to that side right there. And if I click off it, you'll see where. It's, it should snap to the corner like that. And to zoom in and out, I'm just holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. Now let me make this a little bigger. Let me stretch that out. I'll make this a little shorter like that. And then, actually a little bit smaller. And what I want to do now is just make sure it's centered up on the design. So I'm going to hold shift and click on the shape and then just click the button that says center on the vertical axis like that. And we can click off of it to deselect everything. Now what I want to do is make one more copy of this. So I'm going to right, I'm going to just click on that and then right click it and go to duplicate. And then I'll flip that vertically with the button that says flip selected objects vertically. And I'll just take this one and snap this down here like that. And then I'll hold shift, click on the shape. Center it up on the, uh, the vertical axis again like that. And now we can click off it to deselect everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this red shape and then hold shift and click this red shape and then right click it and go to duplicate. And then I'll go to path union and then I'll turn that green and then I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and click the color green again so that it creates an outline around the shape otherwise known as a stroke. Now I want the thickness of this outline to match the thickness of this gap between the border and the shape here or close enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the stroke style tab and I'm just going to change that to maybe 20. I think 20 looks good right there. Once we've done that, I'll go to path 
stroke to path, path, uh, break apart, and then path, union. And then I'll hold shift on the keyboard and click on this shape here in the center and then go to path, difference. And if you notice, our design is starting to take shape. So what I'm going to do now is let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. I'm going to click and drag over all of this. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to make this all black like that. Now, the final thing to do with this design, it actually looks pretty good as it is right now. But as you saw that I did in the thumbnail, I added a few stars in there. So I'm going to add a couple of stars in there, or three rather. You could put whatever you want in there, or if you want, you could even leave it blank. So let me show you how to do the stars in case that's what you'd like to do. I'll come over here to the stars and polygons tool. From this toolbar up here, we'll want um, star selected, not polygon. Corners, we want five. Spoke ratio, we want that to be 0 0.375 rounded and randomized both set to zero and once we have those parameters set I'm just going to click and drag on the canvas to create a star and I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and I'm going to click and drag I'm going to move the mouse up like that to make sure that the star is sitting straight up like that because otherwise if you move in a different direction it's going to go in different directions and we don't need that we want this going straight up like that and once we've done that I'm going to get rid of that outline by holding shift and clicking on that red X down there I'll go to the select tool. Uh, let me just make this red for now so I can see it up against this background. And I'm going to hold control and shift and just scale it down like that. And I'm going to zoom in on this so I can see it better. Again, to zoom, we're just holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. Put this right about there. I'll make that white. Hold shift, click on the shape, and just center it up on the uh, vertical axis like that. And then I'll just take this. I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate and put this one over here. And then, then I'm going to hold Control and Shift and scale it down just to make it a little smaller like that. That's pretty good. Then I'll right click that and go to Duplicate. Hold Control, click and drag this one over to the right. And then I'll hold Shift, click on the other star so that we have these two smaller ones selected. And then I'll go to Path, Union. And then hold Shift, click on the, uh, the shape here on the inside. And then just make sure it's centered up on the vertical axis like that. Let me click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to take this star. I'll hold shift, click on the other groups of stars right there, and unify them both together by going to path, union, and then hold shift and click on this black shape here in the middle and go to path, difference. Now let me click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And as you can see, you can click and drag over all of this, and you can see our logo is completed. And you can now edit this. You can make this red, you can make it blue, you can make it, uh, you could leave it black, or you could do whatever you'd like with it. So that's how you can go about creating this simple logo design using Inkscape. If you haven't done so already, please consider joining the Logos by Nick mailing list in order to receive email alerts whenever new tutorials are posted. Your information won't be sold to or shared with anyone else, and you'll never receive any kind of spam or promotional emails from me whatsoever. The only time you're going to receive emails from me is when a new tutorial is posted, and you'll get to watch it on the Logos by Nick website without any third-party advertisements interrupting your learning experience. So go ahead and check the link in the description if you're interested in that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.